Hello everybody, my name is Daniel Richardson and I am the WCPW Review Guy and Todd Pettengale has been crashing on my couch since like 2003. No seriously, someone needs to come pick him up, it's just getting weird now. And uh, this is the unofficial WCPW Top 10 where I take the entire roster and I rank the top 10 wrestlers based on win-loss record, the type of matches they have uh, performed in, and uh, yeah, their previous placement in the top 10. You know, like a real sport. That's how I like to do things on here. So let's just get right into it. At number 10, making his debut in the uh, top 10, Noam Dar. Yes, yeah, scored a huge win over Joseph Connors this past week. And uh, yeah, launched his uh, supernova ass right there on the top 10. Or sorry, Champagne Supernova, sorry. Uh, number nine, also a new uh, debut here on the top 10, Drake. Yes, Drake uh, got a win over Gabriel Kidd, so he's enough to get him on the list, so congratulations. Uh, now at number eight, for a second week in a row, we got Joe Hendry. Yes, uh, actually had the week off, did not compete this week. He did accompany Joseph Connors to the ring, but as far as actual in-ring action, none. But didn't hurt him none. He's still 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 in the same spot. So, way to go, Hendry, our local hero. Uh, at number seven, he's down one spot from last week. Lucas Archer, and we can't talk about Lucas Archer without talking about his tag team partner, also down from one spot last week. At number six, uh, Alex Gracie. Uh, yes, prospect also uh, did not compete this past week, but they actually did suffer and they they dropped the spot. I'm sure they'll regain it. Because, come on, they're fucking prospects. So, uh, at number five, now, this guy also dropped a spot. Everybody's just dropping a spot right now, it seems like. Uh, number five, he's down one spot from last week, Rampage. He was a part of that huge tag team main event uh, this past week uh, that ended in a no contest. Rampage, buddy, no contest, do not pay the bills. And no contest will not bump you up the ranking system. So, at number four, this guy dropped two spots. Uh, Joseph Connors. Yes, Joseph Connors uh, suffered a loss to Noam Dar. And uh, Noam? Noam? I'm going to say Noam. I think it's Noam. I'm, I'm a redneck from Indiana, so uh, Noam. I'm saying Noam. Uh, but Noam Dar defeated him, uh, handing him his first loss. However, if you was to listen to King Ross and Adam Blompier's uh, commentary, they would have you believe otherwise. No, seriously, that's what they said. It, they literally said, and I quote, well, you know, Joseph Connors does not have the best win-loss record here in WCPW. He was undefeated up until this point. What the fuck? I'm letting it go. I'm sorry. I know I bitched about it on my review, but I'm letting it go right now, okay? It's last time you're here, okay? So anyways, Joseph Connors, you dropped two spots. I'm sure you'll bounce back. I'm, I'm positive. Uh, number three, and this is hot. He's been number three for three weeks now. Joe Coffey. Uh, and, of course, he was also part of that big tag team main event that, you know, went to no contest, but it didn't hurt him any. I can't say the same for his partner, though, because at number two, down from the top spot last week, Big Damo. Yeah, he, that no finish hurt him there. So who's number one? This was the biggest shock. I, I'm not going to lie to you. I was not expecting this. Last week, he was number seven. This week, number one? El Aguero, that is right. Ah, the Mexican sensation is number one. Uh, had a huge win, triple threat elimination match this past week, and it shot him straight up the ladder. Uh, I remember last week he was when he was number seven, he dropped from four to seven, and I was like, oh, I'm sure he'll bounce back, he'll be fine. Uh, I never expected him to bounce back this much, and so uh, congratulations, El Aguero. You are unofficially the top guy in WCPW, so there you go. All right, guys, uh, you know, what do you think of my top ten? Do you agree? Do you disagree? Hey, either way, leave a comment down below. Let me know. Uh, and guys, don't forget to tune in later tonight. I'm going to be uh, busting out the... Uh, WCPW uh, Weekly Recap, where I go through and hit all the news and major announcements that has been made uh, regarding the world of WCPW. And of course, uh, tomorrow I'll be doing a uh, special uh, Built to Destroy uh, special event preview, where I'll go through, kind of give my thoughts on each match, and also pick who I think will win. And of course, I'll be doing both shows in kayfabe, because damn it, it's still real to me. Alrighty, so guys, 
If you haven't already, subscribe, show this video some thumb and love. Of course, follow me over on Twitter at WCPW Review Guy. Guys, that's all I got. Thank you for watching. And uh, yeah, until next time.